be installing a Mishimoto oil catch can for a Kia Stinger. First thing you have to do is remove the clamp, slide it down, and probably the most annoying part of the job is having to get down to the other clamp down here uh, where it joins the PCV hose. So what I found is essential is to have a specific uh, pair of pliers that can grab at these Corbin clips because it's really really tight under there. That's the annoying part and the other thing too is I recommend that you have to get this harness out of the way and there's a 10 millimeter bolt that sits right there where my finger is pointing so if you remove that you get a lot of space to work on that work on getting the hose clamp out of the way on the bottom there Break the seal, so to speak. There you go. Same thing for the bottom. Okay, so this is a special hose clamp plier. And what's cool about it is that compared to a traditional plier uh, with this one, when you squeeze, you don't really need to squeeze. As you keep pressing, it holds holds in position. That way you're able to get a better grip on um, this type of a clamp. It's called a Corbin clamp. So if you want to release, you just press it off and it comes apart. So once you get the get this in position there's a little there's a little V portion here that kind of helps grip part of the hose clamp and once you get that in position it helps you squeeze and it expands the size and it holds it in position and that way see that that's how it can help so I have this hose clamp in position and you can see that it's holding it open that allows you to put this in or take it out relatively easily. Okay, and so then you just release, and that's it. So I finally got this fucking hose off. If you find that's really tight, you just squirt a little bit of WD-40, and that actually helps a lot. This is just the insulator and that goes over the PCV valve. Okay. Now that the hose is off, we can move on to the bracket. Okay, so the next phase of the install, once the hose comes off, is we have to install the mounting bracket for the can, so we need to loosen this 14 millimeter strut nut. And then on the bottom here, there's a stud as well. We need to slip uh, this grommet over the stud. And then this nut that comes with the kit is going to go on top once the bracket goes on. You'll see in a minute. So we've got this nut loosened. This will slide under there. Okay, so I've got a big and a small port, so the big one will go on the out portion, it'll thread in. The smaller one goes in here, so we just need to lubricate the O-rings in here.
some oil around this o-ring on the cap. It's like a trigger oil dispenser. I find it very useful. Plus mess as well. Spread it around a little bit. And we can shove it in. thread in with a 17 millimeter. Not too tight, okay? As soon as you feel resistance, that's good enough. Until you feel some resistance, quick lock and that's all you need. So now we install the catch can onto the bracket. There's three holes here, and there's three Allen bolts that thread in. You just need to position it underneath the bracket, and then you install your bolts, okay? Okay, now the hoses. There's two sets of clamps. There's a smaller diameter ones and a larger diameter one, so the smaller diameter clamps are gonna go over the longer hose. Set them up as so. Bigger clamps go over the larger ones. Goes, goes over the larger hose. Okay, installing the hoses now. So there's a 90 degree bend here. And so that will go into the piece of E valve. Then the other side will go into the inlet port right here. And then the large hose clamp is gonna go in like this. So there's kind of a kind of a U-shaped. That goes into the intake side. And then this side here will go into the outlet port. Okay? What I find what I find helps is to put a tiny, tiny, very, very, very thin layer of grease to the ports. It just allows the hose to it allows the hoses to slide on a little bit easier. And then when you have to take them off, it's not as much of a pain in the ass. So same thing on the PCB valve side as well. Just a little tip, you don't need to do this, but I personally prefer to, and I found that through experience it does help. Once you've installed the hoses, you've ensured that there's no kinking. The final step is you can start tightening, tightening down your entire kit, so. Ten millimeter wrench. I see it right there. Just tightening that screw, that nut rather. Secure the catch can into the bracket. Okay, so now that you've got your bracket and your can secured, the final steps are to tighten down all four clamps, okay? So it's a seven millimeter, very American inspired. You can use a, a flat screwdriver as well, but I prefer to personally use a socket. 
So the seven millimeter and you just tighten them down and then Bob's your uncle. Once the bracket and the can is secured to the bracket, the final thing to do is to tighten down the hose clamp. So the it's a seven millimeter, it's very American car inspired. And all you need to do is you just need to slide the hose clamp over top. Maybe leave about a quarter inch. As long as it goes over the ports, and you just tighten her down. That's it. Hope this video helps. The proper technique for uh, tightening these hoses is just to hold it where you want it to be. Slowly tighten it. That's where having a ratchet makes it a lot quicker. So you start feeling a little bit of res resistance where your hands are here. Don't hold this far back, but near the head of the socket until you start feeling some resistance. That's typically all you need. As long as you, you try to rock it and it doesn't move, that's tight enough. You don't need to go to town with it.